Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be an update video, um, sort of a health update. Um, I have seen the consultant and we have worked out a plan for me coming off um, the next set of medication. So I'm just going to kind of update you first as to where I was when I saw him. Um, I had stopped taking, I'd reduced down um, one of the medications, my sodium valparate, which is an anticonvulsant but is also used in the type of migraine I suffer with, which is Bazilla type migraine with aura, and that causes me to lose consciousness. Um, I had, the pain score had got worse, but not drastically worse. Um, it was still an improvement since I'd started the Botox, so now compared with a year and a half ago, I'd had one partial seizure, but that was it, um, and otherwise I was generally doing okay. So I went along to my appointment and I knew that the next thing to come off would be the gabapentin. Now gabapentin is also an anticonvulsant that again is very useful in treating bazilla type migraine with aura, um, but it is also um, a drug that is used to treat um, the pain associated with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. In this way it works as a nerve blocker, so it sort of stops the feeling of pain. So I had my next course of Botox injections and the way I'm going to be reducing the gabapentin is that I'm going to be reducing one tablet which is 300 milligrams every two weeks. Um, I was initially taking 3,300 milligrams, um, which is or was three tablets in the morning, four tablets at lunch, and four tablets at night. Three tablets of 300 at lunch, and then four tablets of 300. So today is Monday, and I did the first reduction on Friday. So the first reduction I did was to a lunchtime dose, so I'm now taking three tablets at lunchtime. The next one will be a dinner time reduction, then a morning, and then it'll go back and it'll do the same pattern. So it'll always be lunch, dinner, morning. Um, to keep the medication still even throughout the day. And also it, um, it can knock you out a bit. So you don't want to start reducing, start kind of have the least amount just before bed. You want to have the most before bed. So I did my first reduction. Uh, the migraine pain has increased, not dramatically. The most noticeable thing is that um, the stabbing pain has returned um, and I'm also getting sort of more facial pain going from like around here all the way around to here. Um, it's not always really bad, but it's a lot more, it's bad a lot more often. Um, I have noticed that my joints have initially been affected. Um, I woke up feeling quite stiff, but not in a I can't physically move. If a joint swells up or there's swelling around a joint, it can feel stiff even though it's not the actual joint that is stiff. It's quite difficult to kind of explain how it physically feels, but there, there's some stiffness. It's a dull pain at the moment. I am getting a few shooting pains, but not a lot. I'm starting to get more pins and needles um, in my extremities, my hands, my fingers, my feet. But I'm doing okay. Uh, I think the worst has been my finger that's been affected. I think I did that eating dinner last night because we had a roast, so the potatoes were harder to cut. Um, so I think I might have put some pressure on my finger. But I picked up some rings from H&M that sit, you can sit them on different joints. I got small, medium and large, um, depending on different fingers and different points. And actually wearing this has started to not necessarily help, but just stop it getting worse. So I am hoping that the way my joints have been affected is just an initial thing. I got very sleepy when I reduced the sodium valparate and that was an initial kind of about a week, maybe a bit less. And it's only been what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. So hopefully, by um, Friday, my joints will be feeling better, and if not, I will just deal with it because it's the only way you can do it. And keep my eyes on the prize, which is going to be a beautiful baby. So all I can do is cope with it as best I can. I've got amazing friends and family 
around me who will always be there to help me and support me um, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you as well I've had some lovely comments on my videos whether they be um, health related or not I've had some comments asking me how I'm getting on um, and I do I really appreciate it and I know that you're all rooting me on and I just wanted to say that I really do appreciate it and it is helping me to stay positive and stay focused on what's going to be um, something really special at the end of it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope I've covered everything. There's not a whole lot to tell you really um, initially because I don't know if um, my joint's going to be affected more long term. Um, my next appointment is going to be at the end of October. Um, well, the other thing I, I needed to say was that my neurologist doesn't want me to be off the gabapentin for longer than I need to be before starting trying for a baby. So I need to um, speak with my GP and the gynaecologist to work out how we're going to come off. I've got um, prostap injection, the PMS that I need to stop taking. Um, I'm also on Tibolone, which is a um, an H HRT, um, so hormone replacement because of the effects of the process having on my body. So I need to stop both of those. Um, I've got an appointment with him in September, so we'll talk about that. And I probably won't have any more process injections moving forward, so my hormones can get back into um, the natural process of kind of getting things ready to have a baby. Um, and I've also got to stop taking, um, oh, I can't think what it's called now, etorococcib which is part of the non-anti-inflammatory steroidal something. Uh, same family as ibuprofen, but a bit stronger. Um, and I ideally need to come off the etorococcib, which is a painkiller, um, but at least reduce it. So I need to speak to the GP, um, and I'm seeing her next Tuesday. So we'll kind of work out a programme coming off those. So hopefully by December I will be off everything I need to be off and um, we can get started on having a baby which is really exciting. Um, just scary getting to that point. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've got any questions please do feel free to ask them in the comments down below whether they're about the process of coming off my medication or any of the conditions I have, absolutely anything, just ask it down below. Um, no question is out of bounds. And once again, thank you for all your support, and I will speak to you soon. Bye everyone. Um, I'm start redu reducing on the lunch time. This is really confusing.